Millennial health, Telehealth Company, Hims and Hers, announcing it will be going public via a SPAC. Oak Tree Acquisition Corp. is the name of the SPAC. Deal values Hims and Hers at $1.6 billion. They're also bringing in $75 million in a pipe investment. Franklin Templeton, a number of other investors providing that capital. Joining me now is Andrew Dudham. He's Hims and Hers co-founder and CEO. Andrew, good to have you. Um, you know, you were a, a unicorn. You, without a doubt, could have gone public the traditional route, found a nice underwriter. Why go this route and why Oak Tree? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Uh, we're incredibly excited to, to share the news today. You know, I think for us, we have been planning to take the company public for close to two and a half years since we, since we launched the business. I think specifically we chose to enter the market through the SPAC route because it allowed greater speed, efficiency of deal, and flexibility relative to the traditional IPO process. Um, you know, I think the structure allows for an incredibly streamlined um, couple of months, right? And it allows us to tell the story of him's or hers that, in a way that I think is incredibly advantageous. I also think the structure allowed a really deep um, and valuable partnership with Oak Tree, right? Which is an incredibly um, institutional investor that's got best in class resources, very, very deep capital market experience that we can surround the team with, um, and obviously an organization that's led by, from my perspective, one of the best investment minds out there, Howard Marks. And so I think a combination of, of those, those factors and, and the team just made a lot of sense for us as an organization. Why was it important to you to move quickly? Uh, you know, I wonder, I guess you've benefited, I would assume, from the pandemic. Is that one reason your business is doing very well as a result of the pandemic and the timing is good? You know, the pandemic, I think, has been in a lot of ways a, a looking glass into the future, right? It, it's exposed to people the benefits of telemedicine, how simple it is for you to be able to pick up your phone and access a physician from the comfort of your couch. Um, it, it's affordable, it's efficient, and I think that's why 100 to 200 times more telemedicine visits are taking place this year versus last year. And so with our business, what it did is um, it, it allowed us to accelerate our roadmap. We were able to launch things like behavioral health, allowing patients to see a psychiatrist for affordable prices online. It allowed us to launch at-home testing kits for COVID-19. Um, it allowed us to launch primary care offerings where families could come and, and talk to a doctor within a couple of minutes for things like the flu or common cold. Um, and I think that awareness of telemedicine, the awareness that our health system in this country really needs modernization and it needs it fast, um, I think just yeah. coupled together made for a story that we feel really strongly in and, and believe it's a story that needs to be shared with the public markets. You know, are you establishing a real relationship with the consumer? I mean, many people know your company, basically, you know, hair loss, ED. Uh, you mentioned these other th these other areas. You're not taking insurance, so people are paying whatever it is. They're just paying for it. I mean, is that a relationship that can be sustained or really is it going to just come down to somebody wanting their Viagra? Yeah, you know, the business has has scaled exceptionally quickly in the last couple of years. To date, we've powered over 2 million medical consultations on the platform, which just in, in comparison, some of the largest telehealth players out in market today, it took them over a decade to hit that number. And I think the reason for that is it's just a proof point behind what happens when you empower consumers, when you give customers choice and you give them flexibility and transparency. So on the Hims and Hers platform today, we offer dozens of different medications and treatments across dozens of different services and specialties. And it's all comprehensive care in one place. So you can come have a dermatology appointment um, in the morning, and then you can have a psychiatric appointment in the afternoon or a primary care doctor appointment in the evening. You know, and I think the other part of this is that we offer this service in a way that is simple and affordable. So on average, our services are $20 to $40 per month. It's something that no matter who you are and, and how much you have saved in the bank, you can afford. Um, and I think it removes so much of the complications that occur with insurance and, and, and billing in the existing health system. So we really think this is a huge step forward in healthcare. Um, and it's obviously an industry, a $4 trillion industry that needs to be modernized and digitized. And we think we're really leading that charge. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.